Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a video on the importance of setting your object reference variables. I just did a tutorial on how to set something like this up. It's just communication between two blueprints. And so basically I have it if you press one, this new blueprint is going to break up a strut and set the variable in that strut and make a call and send that variable to the new widget blueprint over here and then it's going to break up that strut variable and print it out. So basically I'm just sending a variable from this blueprint by pressing one to this blueprint. And how I access the new widget blueprint is through an object reference variable over here. So I have an object reference variable. I have my blueprint specified in the scene. It's just this sphere right here. Let me compile this. I see this. If I press one, I should be able to see the print string hello dolly. So I walk on here, I press one, and I don't get a print string. And not only that, when I escape, I get this runtime error saying access done trying to read the property. So this tells me there's a problem somewhere. But what is the problem? I watched the blueprint training that Unreal did, and they said basically the two requirements are you must have a publicly exposed object reference variable and there must be an instance of it specified in the scene. What they didn't say is that an object reference variable also needs to be set and it cannot be empty like other variables. And if it's not set, you're going to get this error. So how do we resolve this? Well, we have to set it. We have to set that object reference variable. So I made an object reference variable over here. I can I can just go ahead and delete it just to show you how I don't want to delete, I got it hooked up here. But I'll go ahead and disconnect it here. Can I disconnect it, delete it? Okay, so let me just go ahead and delete this just to show you. It's in use. Well, now I don't want to cause a whole bunch of errors, so. Is it over in use here? Let me see, compile. I guess it's over here. Well, I'll delete this too. So anyway, I'm gonna I want to delete this variable just to show you. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object reference variable to this new widget blueprint. So we go to variable, and I'm gonna call it widget object ref, and I can make it public. And then I just gotta come here and search for the new widget blueprint new widget blueprint right here and it's an object reference and I can just drag this onto the scene and I can say get it and then if I pull this off then I have access to this call function which I just called xxx so if I drag off of here and go xxx you see I have my call function so having the object reference variable lets me access this function the function that's on there right and then it wants the parameter and all this, the new parameter and all this. So this is going to be that into there, the variable. So I can compile and save. And look, I don't get any errors. But if I go back into the game and I hit play and I hit one, I'm still getting my errors. So you can see that the object reference variable has to be set. It doesn't tell you that anywhere, but it does. So how do we set it? Well, what we can do is just right click and go event, begin play, right here. And then we can go create widget, right here, and set it to the new widget blueprint. But that's not enough, that's not setting it. So what you gotta do is you gotta drag, not drag this off, but drag from here and search for set. And if we come down, set widget object reference on this new blueprint. That's what we want. So we're setting the object reference variable that we're calling. And it automatically hooks up and it sets it to itself. So now if we go compile and save, and we hit play, and now I come in here and I hit one, you see I get my message coming through. So that's it. 
Now I wanted to show you another one that's a little more tricky. Let's say we wanted to, the tables were reversed and we wanted the new widget blueprint to be able to access this blueprint. How would we do that? Well, it would be the same way. We have a reference, I already made a reference to that new blueprint right here. So, and it's called new ref, but let me go ahead and delete it. I don't think it's in use. So what we do is we create an object reference to this new blueprint. So I want to call it something that I won't miss. So I'll call it my new blueprint. And then we'll come here and we search for new blueprint. Right here, it's right here, new blueprint object reference. And we can make it public and compile and save. And we can actually, we can make, I said make it public. I thought we could make it public. Compile and save. And now if I come in here, I can actually pull off of here and set it over here. And so it would be set new, set my new blueprint right here. And you'll notice when it comes off, it's got this input here. So what we do is we hook it up here like this. And then we just right click up here, right click here and go self and get a reference to self and put this into here. And now if I compile and save, now this blueprint, I can access whatever from here and I'm not gonna get that no access problem. So I just wanted to share this with you. I know it might seem a little convoluted, but the bottom line is you just need to set your object reference variables. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day.